All right, welcome everybody to the Tuesday evening screencast video coaching call. My name is Lon Naylor. I'll be your host as usual. It's not unusual for me to be your host, I'll tell you that. And I have one extra little tip here for you. Maybe some of you know this, maybe some of you don't, but in this particular slide there is some what's called placeholder text and it's called lorem ipsum. Sometimes in PowerPoint it's useful to create some placeholder text when you're creating slides and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and I'll give you just a little quick tip here. If you go to insert a text box, I'm just going to draw one out here and I'm going to use a little bit of code here. Don't worry, it's not going to be complicated or anything. But this is something called an Easter egg. And it's something that's built into the software that is an undocumented feature. In other words, I don't know, I haven't actually searched for it, but I don't think this is documented in any of the help or anything like that. So let's say I want some placeholder text like this as I'm laying out my, well, we'll call it a layout for a slide. So if you do this, I'm going to type equals and I'm going to type lorem. Okay, for lorem ipsum, I'm going to do beginning and paren and then hit enter. And what it does is it generates by default three paragraphs of lorem ipsum text. Okay, and let's back that up and I'll show you just a couple of other variations. Okay, so equal sign lorem paren close paren. You can also kind of specify inside this parentheses. Oh, let's see, I'm going to put just the number two and you have to go to the end of the line because again it's going to execute this as code and hit enter that's going to give me two paragraphs so you can kind of screw around with you know some different things uh, one other thing if lorem doesn't float your boat you can also use the word rand for random okay and if I put that in that's going to give me one paragraph and one sentence because I used the one comma one of the good old quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Right? And then let's see, one more thing. You can also kind of pre format this a little bit. So I'm going to change this to white. Okay, because that's going to look better on this particular slide than black. Let's punch this in. Uh, let's do two paragraphs two paragraphs of one sentence each and boom there you go so if this was actually a bulleted text box these would be bullets but that's just kind of a quick and easy way to add in some dummy text so that you can kind of lay things out right so notice that I well, I did some formatting there and you know maybe now I want to work on sizes before I actually modify the content for what I want. Okay, and then of course you can copy and paste this on other slides that you're designing and maybe lay it out a little bit differently. Right? Things like that. Okay, so that's something not everybody knows about, but I just thought it was kind of a good thing to hit while we're chatting about some stuff. Any questions on that? Nice. I like it good to go. Hopefully that was useful. Okay, everybody. That's it. Uh, thanks for coming, and we'll talk to you next time.